In this video, we're going to take a look at using Firebase Cloud Functions inside of our Ionic Angular applications. So I have a very basic app here, which is called Messages, and we can send a title and body across to Firebase. For example, if I send the title of a message to be hey, and the body to be how you, and we click send message, you can see that we get this messages and inside of our messages, we have our data. Let's investigate how that's set up and then we'll take a look at cloud functions. So inside of our app module.ts, we are importing the Angular Fire database module and the Angular Fire module. We're then passing the initialize app function with the config and then of course, importing our database module. Outside of that, it's fairly simple. Inside of our homepage, we are sending our Angular Fire database reference to be messages. And then of course, we are pushing a new entity into those messages. This is a fairly standard Firebase setup. So now let's look at integrating cloud functions. So the first thing to do is ensure that you do have the Firebase tools installed, and that can be done by using npm install Firebase tools dash G. After that, you may wish to run Firebase login to log in and authenticate with the CLI. And then you should be able to say Firebase init functions. You may be asked to associate this with a particular Firebase project, simply associate it with the project that you want to deploy the functions in. It'll then ask you whether you want to install dependencies with NPM, select yes. And after that is complete, we should now have Firebase initialization complete, and then we'll be able to write our functions inside of index.js. So we'll have this functions folder. Let's move over to index.js and you'll see that we have a very basic boilerplate. Let's start off by making a new function by saying exports. And what I want to do is basically turn the text lowercase and uppercase. So we'll write two functions based on that message ID. So we'll call this one exports.lowercase is equal to functions.database.ref. And functions here comes from the require for Firebase functions. And then we can pass in a reference. So this is similar to our client side. So we'd have messages slash, and then what I'll do is I'll put this placeholder for message ID. Now this can be anything, but what it essentially says is that we want to go inside of the messages node and then any other key after that. And then we have access to an on write method. So we can say dot on write, and then we get passed through the event. Now, if we wish, we can get access to the message key by saying const message key is equal to event.data.key. Let's do the same for the value. We can say const message value is equal to event.data.val. And at this moment in time, we won't actually need access to the key, but there may be occasions where you do need that. So let's make a value saying lowercase body is equal to the message value dot body dot two lower case. What this will do is set the body to be lower case inside of that message slash message ID. We can then write that because at the moment we just have a reference to a lower case message value. We need to now write this back to the database. And that can be done by saying return event dot data dot reference. So that's essentially this reference. We are making the child, therefore, named lowercase and the value with set of that lowercase value. So what will essentially happen is now we would have a messages slash message ID. And inside of that, we will have a title such as hey, a body such as how are you? And now we'll also have a lowercase, which will be Entirely, how are you with no capitalization? We can do the same now to make an uppercase function inside of that same message ID. So I'll copy this entirely. And I'll remove these comments. And instead of saying lowercase body and lowercase, 
Let's call this uppercase. Let's instead make the function to uppercase and the const equal to uppercase body. And we can also keep a consistent capitalization with our case, so we'll do that. And we can set the child equal to uppercase with the value of uppercase body. You'll have to obviously ensure that we set the lowercase body in the initial lowercase function too, so it should look like this. So at the moment, we have a fairly simple implementation. We can deploy this to Firebase by saying Firebase deploy. And I'm going to use the dash dash only parameter here, and this will only deploy the functions. If you select Firebase deploy and you don't specify what you want to deploy, then of course it will deploy it to the web if you have that accessible. You can also only deploy a particular function, so you don't have to deploy each one of them. And if you'd like to know more about Cloud Functions and using this inside of a project, don't forget, I do of course have Learn Ionic 3 from scratch and you can find that inside of the description. So now that we've deployed that, if we take a look at our Firebase and we go over to Functions, we can now see that we have this lowercase and uppercase function without changing anything inside of our application. And this is the beauty of the functions. We can now say the title, is equal to, hey, with the body of how are you? And now if we select send message, we can take a look at our functions and our database because we'll have the lowercase version and the uppercase version of that message body. If we select the logs for our function, we can see that our function execution took nine milliseconds and it finished with the status of okay. So this is an example of how you can use Firebase Cloud Functions inside of your mobile applications. You can send more logic away to your Cloud Functions and off the client app, and this will obviously allow for a much leaner application. Don't forget to check out paulhalliday.io for more courses and of course blog.paulhalliday.io for my blog. I do blog quite often on topics such as Ionic, NativeScript, Firebase, and much more. Until next time, I'll see you very soon in that next video.